There we go. That didn't take long, didn't it? Guys, one of the uh, great finesse rigs to throw this time of year. It's early in September. The weather's a bit up and down. You know, you get these fronts that these cold fronts that start to move through now, and um, you got these beautiful. Today, I've got a just arrived here this morning. Blue skies. Uh, beautiful, beautiful day. But yesterday was cold and miserable, and so it's quite an interesting time of year where. Um, like I say, the weather's up and down, and um, it can really affect the fishing. And uh, it might be necessary to go down to, to, to go down to a finesse technique. Certainly to get more bites. At the end of the day, we come down fishing. Yeah, we want to catch the big fish. I'm down at Ananda this morning, and uh, there's some big fish around here, generally. But also, you get to a point where um, the fishing gets a bit tough, and you just want to get some bites. And uh, I'll tell you, a, uh, a Neko rig is certainly one of the good ways, good finesse presentations to, to get a bat, and uh, or several bats or many bats. It's, it's, it's kind of rig that can really change your day. So let me just show you the basic rig, because I think it is important, you know, uh, come down trying to target big fish, it gets quiet in the first hour or so, and it's like, hey, I'm just gonna catch some fish. I don't get out much, you know, you don't, not, of us, not a lot of us get an opportunity to hit the water. So we, when we, when we do hit the water, we want to be able to make it count. And a lot of times, a fish is a fish. We just want to go out there and catch a fish. I mean, I'm, I'm fully agree with that. You know, we want to enjoy your day or your morning, or if you've got two, three hours in the afternoon, you want to enjoy it. And uh, it's not always about catching a three or four or five kilo. We'd like to always do that, but it's not always. The conditions don't always set up for it. And, you know, sometimes you just want to, you just want to get bitter and you want to just catch a, catch a bunch of fish. Um, not to say that this technique can't catch big ones, but I just believe it's certainly going to get you more bites. So this is a Zoom Zelinki. Comes in the very famous Zoom packaging. It's a watermelon red color because I'm faced with a clean water scenario. So I'm just using this wacky tool. And I'm just going to thread on this um, O-ring, rubber O-ring. Okay, so I've transferred the O-ring from the wacky tool onto that Zelinki. Then what I've got here is a size 1 It is this uh, Mustad Wacky Neko hook. All right, I've got the thin part at the top and the sort of fatter, blunter edge at the, the bottom here. And I'm just gonna take that hook and I'm gonna run it straight through like that. All right, so effectively at this stage of the game, I've got, as a lot of guys will know, a Wacky Rig. Okay, so that's my Wacky Rig. But to make it a Neko and to get it down on the bottom, I'm using a Vark Tungsten coil weight. And there it is there. So it's a tungsten weight. It's flat on the bottom. Uh, it's got that coil, which is obviously going to allow me to screw it into the plastic. And what I do like about it, to just illustrate, with because um, you do get nail weights and stuff like that and you can stick a nail weight in and that'll that'll pretty much do the same thing but it won't what, what it won't do is this so because that's going to be exposed it's tungsten it's super hard if that's on the bottom and that's bouncing on rocks because this technique you know i'm letting it hit the bottom it's gonna that thing's gonna drop straight down it's gonna hit the bottom if it hits a rock there's gonna be some kind of a sound uh, we, you, a lot of the times the nail weight is you know, really deep inside that plastic, so it's very different to lead as well in terms of its sound. So that's going to give me a bit of sound on the bottom, and uh, that can definitely frustrate and aggravate fish this time of year and most times of year. So that's, that's something that I definitely like about this, this coil weight, and obviously that screw is going to keep it into the plastic securely, so that's going to make sure that I don't lose this every time I get a butt. So all you do, guys, very simply, on the thick end, which is going to be my bottom end, we can call it that, I'm going to just screw that tungsten coil weight into the plastic. Just try and, try and get it as center as possible so it doesn't want to poke out the side. It just makes for a neater, neater rig or presentation. And here it is, pretty much stock standard. There we go. So that's ready to go. That's going to just fall straight down like a stone. And I can just twitch that around. I've got my exposed wacky necker hook which is a specialized um, hook. It's, 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 it's not like a black nickel hook, so it doesn't have like a flash to it. It's a very neutral top hook. There'll be some fancy terminology for the coating on this hook, but I nano coating or something like that, but I just can't remember what it is. But anyway, it's a mustache straight shank wacky necker hook. Um, 
and there's my Neko rig done and dusted. I mean, what I'm going to do is, just for a little bit more flash, because I'm going to be twitching it around, I'll let it sit on the bottom and then it's a series of twitches. I'm just going to take a zoom marker pen, a chartreuse color, and I'm just going to color a bit of the tip, and it's just going to make it that thin part at the top. It's just going to really make that action sort of pop and just create just a little bit of excitement there. Just something that I do personally and um, maybe it'll work for you guys, it, you know, maybe it can trigger that bite, you know, just having that bit. So I'm not sure if you're going to see it there now, but it definitely pops in the water. So that's it. That's the rig done and dusted. And then this I'm fishing on a spinning setup, guys, um, a Pesca Pro Series. A spinning rod, it's a, it's a drop shot shaky head rod, ideal for this type of scenario. Um, spooled on a, on a spinning reel, 30 pound braid, high vis yellow, and I've got a 12 pound fluorocarbon leader. And that's that's basically it. All I'm going to do rig wise, uh, the technique wise, cast it out, let it go to the bottom, feel it on the bottom, just very slow twitches, let it sit there, and um, they'll pick up on it. So there it is, guys, the basic Neko rig with a Vike tungsten coil weight done and dusted, ready to go. So if you walk into a tackle shop, guys, or a bass warehouse, and you see that guy there, that is the Vark coil tungsten weights. That's what they look like at the packaging. So you can check them in the in the pack there. So yeah, very good. Nice product, very excited. Ready to go. There we go, boom, boom. There we go. That didn't take long, didn't it? Yeah, he's coming too easily, he must be tiny. Yeah. Well, there he is nonetheless. There he is nonetheless, spoke about him. There's the uh, wacky Neko mustad boom straight through the top. Fish wasn't going anywhere. Like I said, boys, not always gonna catch your giants, but um, nice fish. Just pop him back gently, he goes. And all I do is just slide my plastic back on. It's sitting on that, uh, that O-ring, that rubber O-ring as mentioned. So, there it is. Ready for another cast. Ooh. There we go. Not bad, not too bad. There you go. There you go, guys. Another little, little chunk on that uh, Neko rig. There we go, boys. Right on the top of the mouth. Little Neko rig. That zooms linky. bad nice little fish there on that neko setup so um yeah just fishing steeper banks guys and you can see got the flat bank here and you can see it makes this little point out here and i can see on my electronics well i can also see on the bank if, if you don't have electronics not not too not a train smash but the point comes out a little bit here and i just lobbed that uh, neko rig down there went to the bottom and the fish just picked it up so Nice, very, very good. Another technique, um, like I say, get spots, get some good fish. Um, nice way to catch them. Uh, when, the, when the fishing gets tough, it's a, it's a really nice rig. So there's my rig there, just gotta slide it down. It's, like I say, it's on that O-ring. And there it is, ready to go again. I need to retire the, that one. Got a nick in my line there. Oh, there's it. There we go, come on. Nah. Definitely a numbers killer, but uh, still fun, eh? Just absolutely thumped it. Very, very cool. Here we go. Worm's holding up really nicely with that O-ring. There you go, very good. <laughs> 